answer. Hey everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today I am going to show you a fall makeup, um, hair, and outfit idea. I'm not currently wearing the outfit right now, but I'm going to go change into it and film that little part. But I just wanted to film the intro, so uh, hey! Then I'm taking warmer eyeshadow colors and then combining it with a really pretty purple eyeliner and kind of making that fall-esque look. Then I'm going to show you how I did this French Dutch braid right here. If you'd like to see how I did all this, go ahead and keep on watching. So I already did my foundation and I just used this Maybelline BB cream. I went ahead and did my eyes. Now I used this Artistry palette and I started off with this soft baby glittery pink. All the eyeshadows in this palette are actually really glittery and I really love that because my skin starts to get really dry around the fall time so any sparkle definitely helps. Then I'm taking this chocolate brown color and putting that in my crease just to add a little definition but not too much yet um, because we're going to go ahead with this darker mauve brown color which is also very glittery. I love it! And I'm putting that in the corner and the crease as well. And then using that first brown color we did, I should have done this a step ahead, but I didn't. And putting that straight under my eye. This is my favorite part. I am using a purple eyeliner and I'm putting it on my waterline and then a little bit on my top eyelid. Don't worry about it being messy because we are going to smudge it now. So take that smudge tool that comes on the back of that eyeliner and I just smudge it all in and blend it until it looks like just a little purple instead of a harsh line. Then I'm taking this L'Oreal Lumi highlighter powder and putting that in the corner of my eye and then I dust a little bit under my eyebrow as well to kind of add that extra pop. And I always curl my eyelashes because I have the world's straightest eyelashes and just putting a little coat of mascara on. Now I use a brown color instead of a black because it looks much better on me, but go ahead and use black. And then I'm adding a little bronze because I lost a lot of that summer glow. And then going with this top color here, it is the only matte shade in this palette so I thought it would be great for a blush. Going back with that highlighter, I'm highlighting all the points of my face that need to be highlighted, which is basically all of my face because I love glitter. Then using this Bare Minerals color, I'm going to apply that on my lips, and my son thought it was really appropriate to keep poking me with a bobby pin at this point, so excuse him. And this is the finished look. Now onto the hair, I'm going to be doing a French Dutch braid, which is basically a French braid that goes underneath instead of above. I know it sounds weird, but it's really easy to explain. Pretend you're making a normal braid and take three pieces. Now each time you are about to go under that middle piece, just grab a section from the left and right and keep adding it in. I know that sounds really weird, but watch the video and you'll get it, and if not, just look up how to do a French Dutch braid. So again, you can see that I am grabbing new sections of my hair and combining it, and then twisting it underneath to create that braid. It gets easier with practice, I promise. I know it seems confusing, but it's actually really easy to do once you get the hang of it. I like to also pancake it out a little bit to make it look a little fuller and then I bobby pinned it straight to the back of my head and then took some hair and hid that bobby pin because I don't like to see it and this was the finished look and it took me about three minutes or so to complete. Now on to the outfit. I love these little brown booties. They are really inexpensive and they're great for fall time. The heel is low also so it makes it casual for every day. And then I just clipped on this little statement necklace. You can add a belt to this dress as well, but I choose a necklace over a belt. It kind of depends on you. And this was the dress I wore. It has a cute little floral pattern to it that I like that reminds me of fall time. And the color is perfect. so much for watching this video if you liked it go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe we'll see you soon in our next video bye everyone